Well, good evening, um, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for um, this evening's um, midweek devotion coming to you from Northside Community Church. My name is Gary Cross, and together with Varengarai Maveseri, we are the pastoral team here at Northside. And we are so glad that you have joined us today. It is Wednesday, the 28th of September, 2022. Now, this past Sunday, Pastor Varengarai um, looked at James 1, verse 27. And here it is down here. And we would encourage you to open your Bibles um, to the passage and read um, it for yourself. Um, there are so many verses within this passage that we know really well about being quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to become angry, um, about taming our tongue, about doing, about being doers of God's word and not just hearers of it. Um, looking into a mirror and then turning away and immediately forgetting what you saw and not doing anything about it, um, looking after orphans and widows in their distress, verses that we all know um, very, very well. Um, but I would still encourage you to, to get this passage and to read it for yourself. Um, read from a little bit before to a little bit after as well and get some of the context about it. But Pastor Vera talked about three things that come out of this passage for us. And the first one is to be receptive to the word, to receive the word, um, being doers of the word, um, receiving it. Um, so not just, I think teachers will say this, it goes in one ear and out the other. Um, I'm sure my teachers said that about me at school many times as well. Just it, it doesn't stop in the middle. Um, it doesn't make a difference to your life. And so um, James is saying to us, listen to God's word, be receptive for it. Uh, Pastor Vera challenged us to go to the parable of the sower, the farmer who sows the seed in four different types of soil that receive the seed. And, and, and only one soil produced a harvest. Um, and, you know, so um, how are we receiving the word? The seed is, is the word of God, and it comes, into our, it comes to us. And I think many of us here listening to this devotion would say that we've heard God's word preached, read um, our whole lives. Um, more than we can count. And the question is, has it made any difference to your life? Have you actually received it when you go to and listen to a sermon? Um, as you're listening to the devotion, are you in an attitude of reception, receiving it with joyful hearts, um, with soft soil so the seed can go down and germinate um, in it? And so we need to start off and be receptive to God's word. And then, and then there if we are receptive to God's word, we will respond to it. We'll do something about it. Don't become a doer of the word, not just hearers of it. Um, respond to it. Um, we, uh, James likens God's word like a mirror. We put it up to our faces. We look into it and we see ourselves. Um, we, we see, what do we say, with warts and all, wrinkles, um, blemishes. We see our sin in it. Um, but many people look at the God's word and then walk away and they forget about it and they do nothing about it. And, and so the challenge of James is look into God's word like a mirror. Study it carefully for yourself. Um, I think the picture there was um, leaning down and studying it deeply. And then don't forget what you see in it and do something about it. And, of course, that leads us on to the third, pass third part of this. And Pastor Varengar, I used the letter R for all the way through to be receptive, respond to the word. He said to be resigned to the word. Um, it's, it's a difficult word, resignation. Um, in our context, I think as some brought negative um, connotations. Um, the word there is more to be submissive, but I guess that's got negative connotation as well. But to but to allow the word of God to be in authority, 
to have the final say in our lives. Uh, if you can come up with a better word beginning with the letter R, uh, why don't you drop us a line um, and we will, we will use that in the future. Um, let God's word, so you have received it, you have looked into it, you're responding to it, you allow it to have authority in your life. And um, he talks about taming your tongue in this section, um, you know, putting your tongue under control, I, I guess, all parts of your body, but the tongue James picks up um, because it's so powerful. Um, and sometimes we don't really recognize that, um, how powerful our tongues can be both for good and for bad. Um, tame your tongue. Um, allow the word of God to tame your tongue, to bring it into submission. Um, and, um, and then right at the end, we have this wonderful verse that for Northside um, gives us the name of one of our um, biggest, longest standing ministries in the church, Project 127. And it comes from James chapter 1, verse 27, the last verse of our passage. And in that verse, James exhorts us encourages us, uh, maybe even commands us to do two things. Firstly, to look after orphans and widows in their distress. And secondly, to keep yourself from being polluted by the world. So again, James starts off with this call to action. Do something. Receive God's word, respond to it, and do something about it. Then here he talks about looking after orphans and widows in their distress. And we know in this, in James's context, these were some of the most vulnerable, marginalized people in society. Widows and orphans, those without parents, um, widows without husbands. In fact, they were not even considered like people. Um, of course, in our world today, the, we have many, many needs. So it's not just it's not just for orphans and widows, um, but for anyone who's marginalized, who is in desperate need of help, destitute um, people, um, people in hospital, people in prison, um, those struggling to make ends meet, and hence our food pantry and kids can. Um, you know, all of these things that we do as a church come under this um, God's word must determine our conduct in the world, and we should be doing something um, to uplift others. But there's also this idea of keeping yourself from being polluted by the world, and that talks about character. And, you know, you cannot do all of these things if you're not in a right standing with God. Um, and so allow the word of God. Again, remember, we're talking about being submissive to the word, resigned to the word, keep yourself from being polluted by the world. And so the question of this, the questions of this passage are, have you received God's word? Have you, have you responded to God's word? Um, are you living a life um, submitted to, resigned to the word of God? Um, are you receiving the word of God is your heart ready and prepared? Are you expectant um, to hear God speak to you? Um, you know, and to make a difference in your life. Um, are you responding to God's word today? Um, and, and saying, God, I'm looking into your word. I'm hearing these things. Uh, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to change my life? What, what do you want to do with the gifts and talents that I have, the resources that I have? Um, and, and submitting yourself to God's word and, um, and saying, right, if you're saying this, I will do it um, or I won't do it. And so we pray that this passage would speak to you, that God would speak to you by spirit through it and that it would make an impact in your life. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we're back online and in person on Sunday at 9 a.m., um, we have Sunday school lessons in person and online um, at the same time. Um, and of course, we'll be back next Wednesday um, with a midweek devotion. Um, so have a blessed week, everybody. God bless.